welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now the mood has definitely changed up in our Afternoon Express kitchen because things are definitely getting serious. But for you on social media, we've got a question. We would like you to please fill in the blank. And it goes a little like this. If I could have anyone in the world cook for me, it would be blank. Make sure you use that hashtag Afternoon Express in all of your comments. Now, Michaela, Dylan, Please keep that question in mind. I'm going to definitely ask you at the end of the show, ne? Okay. You ready for cooking, though? Ready, girl. <laughs> As I said, things are definitely heating up in this kitchen. I mean, <laughs> Dylan and Michaela have both taken the film and television industry by storm. But what keeps Dylan grounded is home-cooked South African classics. And this is one of his favorites. I'm talking about a much-loved babodi. Today, he's going to show us how to perfect this meal. Yeah. Now, yeah. you already said that you're a little shaky in the kitchen, you're more on the eating station. Yeah, a lot shaky. Not even a little shaky. <laughs> <laughs> Michaela, and for you, you, girl, you I just love, joined us. I love cooking. Cooking has been a passion of mine since I was a little girl. Really? Yeah, I grew up watching my gran and my aunt cook all my life, and I, I even wanted to go into it at, at some stage. Yep. <laughs> well, this is where myself and Michaela finally differ, <laughs> because I had no care in the world to cook. <laughs> but that's why I have Dumi here. Dumi's mm. going to teach us how to perfect this bubu. Yeah, and I think this time for the first time in a while the guests and, and us and, and, the, and our visitors <laughs> yeah. have been mm. split correctly. The cooks Absolutely. and the chefs over here oh, and the other people <laughs> well, over there. <laughs> <laughs> but, but let's get started with this bobote guys. We've got some onions that have already started cooking mm. in here. They're sauteing nice and soft and we're going to start adding everything because it's about layering that flavor which is a, probably why you love bobote yeah. so much. You know those spices yeah. that are in there, those flavors so that are good. in there. And um, I'm adding some carrots to mine. I don't know if that's a traditional ingredient to add into your bobote but one thing mm. I know is that it stretches it, you know? Yeah, if, for sure. Yeah, if ever you're gonna be making a dish with mints and you wanna just pack in, let's just say veggies, let's call it for the kids, then you can definitely do that. Add yeah. your grated uh, carrots in there, uh, whatever veg as well. I've also got some spices in here. I've added an array of different spices that go into a, a boboti. We've got our paprika in there. I've also got some cinnamon, um, nutmeg, mm. um, and I've also added some turmeric. I don't know if that's how you would yeah. normally do it. Turmeric, for sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah. For Michaela, sure. have you ever tried to make a boboti as the chef? Mm. I, I have tried. Um, I don't know if your guys' pabot is sweet. Um, mine turned out extremely sweet <laughs> when I made it, so I wasn't sure if I was on track. I've only tried it once. So I'm not sure, yeah, I guess it varies depending Tell me, on your help palate. Has. I will definitely yeah. help, you know, so I'm just adding some seasoning to this, some salt and pepper. I just added some of our chili flakes in there and I think this is where... That's it, where, mm. yeah. I think I added way more than that though. <laughs> That's probably why it was so probably, sweet. Probably, <laughs> probably. But the one thing I like to do is before I add my chutney and my raisins, because that's where the sweetness okay. will come in, I add my meat just so that it coats fully and gets all those ah, spices and everything comes you. together here. And then at this point then is where you would come in, Michaela, because yes, we add some soaked bread in mm. there. So may I ask you just to show us if there's a trick to this or if you just... You no know. trick, girl. Just, you know, milk. <laughs> Take your bread and uh, dunk it. Perfect. And I think this is another thing. If you were to use any bread, try using stale bread. Well, not stale. Yeah. Some day old bread or bread that's been sitting in there. Um, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fell, I'm a, the, the crust, if mm. there's any left over, use that as well, yeah. it also works. And then I'm going to start adding our flavourings here. Our Tell me, as you do add those flavourings, you also have um, a Dylan, Dylan. Mm -hmm. yeah, who's also going to be put to work. So what mm. station, or rather, what, what is he going to be adding to this? Okay, so Dylan, now let's just say we've made this, Michaela, I've got some soaked bread that I'm okay. going to add into here. Mm -hmm. We then have this mixture done. I've added my bread, it has to cool down before I do this next part. So you've got some that we made earlier that you can now add onto our baking dish mm -hmm. and then make the custard that goes on top because that's what the signature is with the boboti. It's got that beautiful um, uh, custard topping which is some eggs, some cream. Yeah. You can actually start to mix it all together. And that then is basically the differentiating factor between a boboti and a basic mince or a cottage pie or something like that. Okay. So what we're using is some milk. So let's say you've soaked your, milk, your bread mm -hmm. here. If there's any leftover milk, use that milk in there. We've opted to mix our leftover milk with some cream just to enrich it. And then top that boboti with your custard mixture. And you know what, Bob's your uncle, enjoy, eat. Um, the turmeric is basically for the colour and just to make sure it looks pretty. Now, I'm on tasting station. Um, <laughs> one thing about me, I'll always taste what we make. So You're let's find out station. if this is like yeah. a literal signature boboti. Mm. You've also got oh, tasters, wow. guys. I wouldn't let you come girl. into my kitchen and not taste, oh, but yeah. only once you've done it. Oh, hey, guy. Work. Only once you've worked. Mm. 
<laughs> There's no tasting without working here. <laughs> Dumi, this truly does that transcend is. just a regular mincemeat kind of dish. Correct. It does. And I think that's what makes it so signature. Mm. That salt and sweet, that spicy flavor, the sultan. I taste all the warm spices. It's beautiful. Thank Do you, you like it? it? I love a girl. Okay, well, yeah. Michaela's eating, mm. so we all have mm. to follow suit. And if you would like to follow suit, please so do good. head over to afternoonexpress.co.za to get the full recipe and ingredient details. Now, when we do return, Michaela, Dumi and Dylan will be preparing a pina colada with an invigorating iced tea twist. Pour that in there. Mm -hmm. You're great, sweetie. <laughs>